Hello and welcome to Dagunya Tip Talk. My name is Dave Weiser and today we're going to be talking about recurring purchase and sales codes. Recurring purchase and sales codes is a feature used by Business Central to allow you to automatically add lines to purchase or sales documents for a particular vendor or customer. This is especially helpful if you've got, for example, a vendor that you always charge the same GL account codes to, or you have a customer, for example, that always orders the same items, or you sell items in a particular grouping and you want to always automatically add that group of items to a particular document. So we'll go through how to set up those and how those things function within Business Central. We'll start with the purchasing side. The sales side is fairly similar. There are a couple of differences on the sales side that we'll talk about in just a minute. So we can find the recurring purchase lines by coming up and clicking on search and typing in recurring purchase lines. We then go ahead and navigate to the recurring purchase line field. We're going to go ahead and set up a new one. So we'll click on new and we'll get the purchase code card to come up going to go ahead and set up a code for this one called bank and we'll set a description then we're going to go ahead and add lines the lines that we automatically want to add to any document whenever this code is selected as you can see when I click the drop down box I have a wide variety of entry types basically corresponding to the different entry types that you can have on your document whether it's a GL account or an item a charge item whatever it needs to be you can go ahead and add to this code I'm gonna go ahead and add a couple of GL account lines with a quantity of one add a second line another GL account with a quantity of one as you can see it can also go ahead and add dimension codes to those lines if I want to bring those in at this point I don't necessarily want to do that at this point I'll just leave that here the next step on this is basically to assign the code to a particular vendor the codes are not exclusive to a vendor you assign them to a vendor so these codes can be used by any number of vendors in this case we're going to open up our vendor list and I'm going to use vendor 10,000 the London Postmaster when I open that card I can go to navigate and purchases and there's an option there called recurring purchase lines this is where you basically will assign the purchase code that you just set up to this particular vendor so that it can be used by that vendor so we'll go ahead and click the drop down box we'll select the bank code that we just currently used now on the the next couple of columns here will dictate as to what the functionality or how the lines are added to the particular documents so I'm going to focus on the insert the lines on the order and insert the lines on the invoice. You also have the option to insert them onto credit memos or to quotes. You can see when I click the drop down box, there's a couple of options on how these lines will be added. You can set them up so that they're automatically added whenever a document is prepared for that vendor or you can have the system always ask so it's going to prompt you if you want those lines added or you can just click on manual which means that you actually when you create the document have to go and manually select the purchase lines that you want to add for this one we're going to go ahead and set both of these to automatic so that those lines will be automatically added at that point we'll go ahead and close the purchase or the vendor list and we'll go ahead and create a purchase invoice so we'll go to our purchase invoice list we'll select new go ahead and select our vendor and as you can see that as soon as I tab out of that and it creates the purchase invoice it brings in the vendor information but also then goes ahead and brings in the lines for that particular purchase code we can then go in and set up the costs and go ahead and process that document just like normal for another vendor that I have set up we'll go ahead and close that and create a new purchase invoice for this one we set up a code to always ask so if I put in vendor 20,000 and tab out of that you'll see where it brings in the vendor information but then in the top it's basically telling me that recurring purchase lines exist for that vendor and do we want to insert them that's 
because of the option of always ask that we set on the assignment, the purchase code assignment. I can go ahead and click on the get recurring lines. It'll ask me which lines I want to bring in because you can have multiple sets if you want. In this case, it's going to be that group. We'll click OK and it'll bring in the lines associated with that code. On the manual one, we can also set it up so that you would then manually have to bring those into a purchase invoice if you wanted to do that. The same functionality holds true on the sales side, but it's a little bit different setup as far as the customer. So we're going to go ahead and set up and take a look at the customer card and see the, the little differences that exist when setting up standard or recurring sales lines for a particular customer. So we'll open up our customer list and go to customer 20,000. When that customer opens up, we'll go ahead to navigate to sales and we'll see the recurring sales lines. For this vendor, you can see we can add up multiple codes that are available, but you can see that there's also additional codes or additional values that you can add to this. The automatic or manual insertion into the documents columns are all also over here, but we can also set up valid dates, valid from and to dates, payment methods, payment terms that you can also set up for those recurring lines. This is especially helpful if you have an automatic insertion of a specific sales line, but you only want it to be valid for particular dates. You can set that up in that date range, valid from and valid to, to be able to prompt it only during that date. So there's a little bit added functionality, but otherwise the standard sales lines is inserting those into sales documents is just the same as the purchasing documents. So this is a really cool feature that can really help you or automatically add lines to your sales documents so that you can maintain some consistency uh, between your with your vendors and customers and what they're ordering and how the documents are set up. As always, Reach out if you have any further questions on this. We'll be glad to help you and stay tuned for further episodes of Tagunya Tip Talk. Have a good day.